Hi everybody, my name is Warren, and along with my business partner Dave, you may know us better as Clef on the user forums. As you know, Moto 601 currently does not support audio, so we've been working on ways to make that possible. So let's take a look at our first plugin we call Audio Ape. To install Audio Ape, you'll unzip it, and then you need to install it into either your user scripts folder or your user configs folder, and you can get that right from the system menu in Moto, it'll take you right there. And as you can see, we've already got the directory for Audio Ape installed. Now once it's installed, under your setup, you'll see a new tab for Audio Ape. And also under Animate, we have Audio Ape right below Recoil. So within Audio Ape, there are four buttons, the settings, load, offset, and volume level. So let's go ahead and load an audio file and we'll select Code Monkey, and we can play it. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code... We can stop it, play reverse. And we can scrub it by holding down the mouse button. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. So with scrubbing, we can really find a specific point. Now you'll notice over here in the item list, it's created a locator called Audio Ape. And we do that so that the audio information will be stored along with your scene. So we've got three properties, the file name, the offset, which is where we want the audio to begin playing relative to your timeline, and the volume setting. Now the volume generally uh, is just for making adjustments if there's a problem in the audio file you've imported. If it's really too quiet or too loud, you can make that adjustment. But for playback volume level, you want to use your uh, operating system's volume to set that. We can change the audio volume, for example, to let's say 25%, and it will play back quieter. But you don't have to go hunting for the locator to change properties. That's why we've got the buttons over here, and they do the same thing. You can see that 25% has carried over. We can change it back to 100, and it changes it in the locator. So you don't have to go hunting for your locator to make changes. You can just use the convenient buttons. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of uh, sync animation by using scrubbing. Okay, so there's a k sound in Code Monkey, and I'm gonna go and key the ball so that it's hitting the box on the letter C. And I'll find another C. Okay, there's our cut in coffee. We'll key that. And another C in code. Okay, so we've got all those keyed. I'm just going to make this, uh, the timeline, show a little bit more. And now I'm just going to, in between those keys, move the ball up and key it so that we get a bounce. Move it up, key it, hitting S to key it. Up, press S, key it. Okay, and now we can watch it bounce. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code and it's bouncing on each of those C sounds. So let's go ahead and open another scene. This one's just got a cone in it. And as you can see, it's already got the Audio Ape locator, so we know it's already got sound in it. I've paid my go ahead and play. Time. So that's a different sound than our other scene. And if we switch back to our first scene, we get its audio. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey. Okay. So when you switch scenes, you get the audio playback I've from that scene. Okay, so that's pretty handy. 
Now, let's find where the sound actually starts in this scene. There's the start of it. So I'm gonna set that back minus 23 frames so that we're slipping the sound backwards so it'll start to play right at zero. Code monkey get up get yeah, you can see it's offset it. Now as your scenes get heavier the playback will slow down because we're locked to Moto's timeline playback. So if Moto's playback slows down, then the audio playback is gonna slow down as well. So that's an overview of the Audio 8 plugin, and we hope you'll enjoy using it.